Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Philippine visas, do you need them before you um, leave your home country and are they easy to extend? I know people that pre-organize it and it's okay if you live next to the embassy, like say you're in London already, but for me to get anything processed cost me a fair bit of whack um, and also it's not uh, easily accessible. Uh, for me to go to London, you're talking a day and at least 85 quid on the train. Um, it's just not no point to it. When you get to the Philippines, it's a bit like going to the US or I think even the going in the UK has it now. These little slips of paper, and it basically you just fill it in. Okay, where you're staying? Uh, have you got anything to declare? Blah blah blah. It takes about five minutes. You need to fill it in on the plane anyway. But that'll automatically give you at least. Uh, 21 days they might have even the book took up to 30 now I do not know because they keep changing things uh, that's why I'll say 21 days um, but it may be longer that automatically gives you your, your visa for a vacation for example uh, if you stop for two weeks you're gonna have left before it's even uh, an issue getting an extension is easy just go around to the immigration office just take your passport uh, just fill in a few documents, give them money, and they'll just keep extending it and they're extending it. I know some people are ex have extended for several years. Um, there is this, there's two ways of doing it, and you, you better off talk to somebody in immigration because some people say, well, they just keep extending it. Uh, other people will leave to go to another country at the end of the year because their visa is supposed to be renewed. They've got to leave the country and come back. Why people have two different processes, I really don't know. Uh, I'm a resident, uh, which basically means I don't need to leave the country because uh, I pay for that privilege. And when I say pay, I do. It costs me um, I will probably about 60, 80 pounds to leave the country every time I leave. Um, they don't charge me coming in, they charge me for going. Um, so from that point of view, it's something to be aware of. But if you're going there for your first few weeks there, I would say, just arrive, take your little bit of paper, fill it in. You just give it to the immigration officials. They don't even read it. I mean, some of the times I'll just put a hotel name on the location because um, my address doesn't actually fit on it. Nobody cares. Um, it's not scrutinized or something. Uh, but the point is that's that gets you your visa because when they stamp your passport, it starts from then. Uh, just keep an eye on that. Go to immigration. They'll they'll get you through to your um, regular updates of cash extraction. Because um, I believe it's every 60 days or something like that. The reason I can't remember is because I haven't had to do that process for a while. Um, I think I must be coming up to nearly five years as a resident. <laughs> so, uh, it may have changed slightly and there was when a chief changes in the immigration they change the processes and stuff so there's no point in even say fill in form a and then fill in form b blah 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 because by the time you go it will have all changed again but when you do go immigration um not at the airport but when you need to go to the immigration office for a renewal wear um long trousers and just look tidy you know shirts sure nice um, they don't like scruffy foreigners and they may not even process you if you turn up in flip-flops and shorts uh, something to be aware of all right thanks for watching